So Augustana has been a very generous financial supporter for quite a few years and we are so grateful for that because what that um, investment in, the, in these young adults at the University of Minnesota, what that investment does is allows us to invest in this worshiping community and these student leaders. And so the providing the meal is one concrete way, one tangible way for congregations to express support. Um, and that ongoing generous funding through the years has really allowed us to build a thriving ministry um, that then spurs these kind of secondary ministries that are students dreams right and i believe the dream of god so the story i like to tell about be fed is um that last year there was hardly any people coming to this meal and uh two of our servant leaders who have a real heart for mission and for service work uh, did not want to see it die and so they wanted to keep it going so we had a pretty detailed conversation over the summer about what was this meal and who was it for and how do we find those people, right? And clarifying that mission with these young adults and then equipping them to actually do the invitational work. For me, I really like corn. What do you like about corn? It's cold. resulted in this meal where so many people on campus, regardless of religious affiliation, racial, gender, sexual identity, all of that, there's just a very diverse collection of people that are in that room and they all feel like they have a home um, within this church building now. It's really a, a beautiful thing to see. Um, but had we not had this worshiping community, which is where we find our servant leaders, uh, we would have never had these two servant leaders that were so passionate about this meal. And so there's kind of two stories that are happening with BeFed. One is that we invest deeply in people who are part of our worshiping community and who eventually decide to become leaders. And then they get to be the hosts and the initiators of something as beautiful as Be Fed. And then Be Fed on its own is a really beautiful story. There's a lot of med school students and dental school students who are here, but then there's also people who are experiencing food insecurity. Some of them med and dental students, but some of them coming from other spaces on campus. And so there's a wide variety of people who are praying in this space and now those students are starting to also eat in this space together. It's just a really beautiful confluence of the energy of this corner at the University of Minnesota. So yeah I mean college life is busy so to have a place where you know you can go to and have a free meal I mean it just means so much and then of course um, just having community there to just struggle with questions and if you're having a, a bad week, have people there to rely on and just have people to check on, up on you. So yeah, I think we've got PT people, dental people, that their whole day is just full from eight to eight. And maybe they get a little time um, in the middle of the day and try and give them a, a cool experience. So that's what we try to do here. And I yeah. think we're I think we're doing a decent job, I'd say. I just want to be clear that the congregation as a whole, the council, the leadership, the members, that everybody understands how grateful we are for the generosity of support. We are uh, we are kind of a bootstraps operation. And so, uh, or not a bootstraps, we are a bare bones operation. So gifts like the ones that Augustana offers every year go a really long way in helping us to provide a community which really changes lives on campus.